Hi everyone, I'm Christina from Hair Romance and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd just do a quick video about curly hair. It's a question I get asked a lot and it's about scrunch out the crunch. Recently I switched to using gel, uh, which is something I didn't ever think I'd go back to using on curly hair because I hate that really crunchy feeling in your hair. But there's a second step to using gel. Now, if you want to go back and watch my full curly hair routine, uh, I've got from start to finish uh, my whole curly hair routine, but I thought I'd just go through this step a little bit more if this is where you're having trouble with your curly hair routine. So, so this is the gel I use in my hair. This is the Schwarzkopf Taff Mega Styling Gel. Super cheap. Uh, you would, I probably wouldn't have picked this up before, but I, it actually is uh, correctly ingredients for the uh, curly girl method. So if that's what you're following, you can use this gel as well. And I use this as the last product um, after I've applied my curl cream. It's kind of on wet hair. I scrunch out my hair um, with a towel just to get a little bit of water out. And then I call, I use what they call the praying hands method. So if you've heard this before, it's, um, it's where you use an open palm instead of your fingers to apply the product. So I'll use a fair amount of gel, um, mix it between my hands and then smooth it down, um, kind of working it through and kind of concentrating more on the ends because that's where my hair will frizz up so much. And then the trick is to let it dry completely. I've sped up the process a little bit today by using a diffuser uh, and I've got a review of a diff the diffuser I use on my channel as well. Uh, so once my hair is completely dry is when you have to do the second step, which is to scrunch out the crunch. Now, if you try and do this while your hair is still wet, it's not going to work. You're going to end up, it's just, it's still going to be a little bit uh, frizzy and it will sit a bit flat. So you have to wait till your hair is completely dry. Now, because I've already used a diffuser, some of the crunch is already gone, but you can see I've got some curls that they look really defined. They almost look a little bit wet. Um, and to me, my hair feels crispy. There's parts of it that are soft, but um, these clump, these curls that are really well defined, uh, they feel they feel pretty yuck. But it's only one more step to get rid of it. For this, I either use my diffuser again, but I'm gonna show you just with a t-shirt. You can also you just use your hands, but you can always have so much dirt and oil on your hands that can get in the way. So just using a t-shirt can be a little bit easier. So I just start by letting my curls fall into the t-shirt and then I give them this little scrunch. I'm going to show you without the t-shirt. So it's almost like when you roll it, it's almost like rolling your curls slightly through your hands so that they just break that cast that's on the outside of them. And especially I find I get like a lot more gel around the front here that's giving me that sort of weird crispy look. And then I just kind of give it a little bit of a rub, the t-shirt or with my fingers. And then you can see it's just softening up those curls, but still keeping the definition. Uh, you may also want to flip your head upside down while you do this. I'm going to show you a little bit. So just flip all your curls over. And scrunch up to the roots. And so you can see that little scrunch as well is going to give you a, a heap more volume. And then I just get my fingertips in and just give it a little lift, like a little shake at the roots. And the trick to this is to put your fingers straight in and bring them straight out at exactly the same spot. You don't want to be breaking through your curls. Just want to give it a little lift and then take your hand out. Now without using, if you're just using your hands, you probably want to take a little bit longer to do this, but using the t-shirt I find really speeds it up and any way you can feel like it's just got rid of all that crispiness that felt really horrible before. So now you can still see the curls are defined, but they're just softer. They're not, oh, they're just, you can actually touch them and you don't get so frightened if someone's going to touch your hair, which is the worst for people, you know, touch without asking. But in this case, your curls are going to be hold up a little bit better if someone does come in touch them and hopefully they won't run their fingers through that is the worst no you can touch but don't run your fingers through the curls so I hope that's explained a little bit more about how I scrunch out the crunch when I use gel in my curly hair so there's if there's two things I really want you to remember is that 
The gel is the last product you use and then you have to wait until your hair is completely dry before you start to do the scrunch. Uh, just persevere with it, hold off until your hair is completely dry because if it's wet at all, you're not gonna get the same results. Uh, good luck with your curly hair routine. If you've got any questions, you can drop them in the comments below um, or find me on Instagram, I'm at Hair Romance. Uh, I'd love you to subscribe um, and I'll be posting new tutorials next week. So I'll see you then, bye.